It's one of the easiest sales. Walk into any senior manager's office and ask, how would you like everyone in your organisation to care about the customer? Who wouldn't? The organisation signs up, pays a lot of money, and everyone gets trained in customer care. Then what happens? What do we learn? The people go back to a system that won't let them do it. Well, they may have managers who think it's their job to decide things. So you can't help a customer without referring to a manager. There may be procedures that have been written by people in head office, a place where no one meets customers. But adherence to procedures is one of the ways frontline people are going to be judged. Managers may have imposed targets, and working to meet targets is not the same as working to serve customers. The frontline people may have computer systems that don't enable them to respond to customers, but instead constrain the way they have to deal with customers. The frontline people may be subjected to inspection. Our calls may be recorded for training purposes. And that means they must comply with the things they're going to be inspected for, regardless of the impact of behaving this way on the customer. What you often find in service organisations is that all the front line can do is smile at the customer in spite of the system. Scratch any front line person in a badly designed service organisation and they'll tell you what they have to put up with while trying to serve you, the customer. It's not a matter of the customer friendliness of the person dealing with you. It's more a matter of how the system in which he or she works supports or hinders their dealings with you. People who buy customer care programs believe it's people that make the difference. It's not. It's the system, stupid. <laughs>